Hey guys, this is Anthony with Stun Bombs. I assume if you're here today, you just got done watching our tank dinning video, or you have a tank that looks like shit that you want to get fixed. You know, after you attack your tank with a ball peen hammer, uh, chip away all your paint, and maybe even have to get it welded because you cracked it, uh, it's not a pretty sight. And most people's first reaction is to bondo it up in order to fix it and make it look good. We personally never use bondo because using bondo takes away from the lip of your dent, and you want to have as much lip as possible to you know, hold you in as well as possible. Uh, and B, if you don't use enough Bondo, it'll crack away easily, ruining whatever paint job you put on top of it. And then if you use too much Bondo, again, you circle back into A where you're taking away from the lip of your tank dent. So instead of using Bondo, we typically cover the tank surface with uh, either a surf pad or some HT Moto grip. And it covers up the, you know, ugly inconsistencies in the surface of the tank just as well, except for it's like a quarter of the work and there's no concerns in the future about having to, you know, repaint it or deal with any problems due to the Bondo cracking. Alright, so today what we're going to do right now is go ahead and sand and spray paint the surface of the gas tank just to keep it from rusting in the future. And then I'm going to walk you through using a heat gun and installing some HT Moto grip on top of it, making it look nice. Now that you have your tank prepped and ready to go, uh, we're going to put the actual grip on it. Basically you can use some surf grip from the store, it's like $50 for a single sheet which will do one tank. Or you can order uh, HD Moto Cells, their grip comes in a box like so. You get a big ass roll of it which can do like eight or so tanks. You can see this was one tank right here. So we're just going to cut this tank grip with a little utility knife. Alright, so to get started getting everything lined up, we're going to go ahead and take this gas cap off to help, to help us cut the grip around it. Now we're going to go ahead and do a first pass of putting this stuff on. Since we're not actually going to use the uh, adhesive it comes with and we're going to replace it with some 3M contact cement, we're just going to go ahead and put this stuff on, get it kind of in place, cut out the gas cap, pull it back off and reapply it with some contact cement and a heat gun. We're going to start putting this stuff on front to back. Again, don't worry about the edges, don't worry about trying to get it in there perfect, just worry about getting the uh, final resting place for the gas cap in place. We know where the gas cap is, nice and easy, go ahead and cut it out. Now that we have the gas cup cut out, we're going to go ahead and cut the general shape of the grip uh, while it's on here. You see we have this cut in the general shape it's going to be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull it back off now and start putting on the contact cement. Alright, so we got the contact cement on the tank and on the grip, we're going to go ahead and put it on. Just be really careful because once this stuff makes contact with each other, it's pretty hard to get off. Alright, so we're going to work ourselves from the front to the back. So we recommend using a heat gun, uh, the stuff's pretty... Uh, it's not the most flexible stuff in the world, so hit it with a heat gun for a second or two and it'll make it that much more malleable.
All right, so we got the main piece on. We're just gonna keep getting these edges on. You know, it's really helpful if you have a friend help you out with this process. Alright, so there you have it. We have spray painted the tank to keep it from rusting. We've got some good looking grip on it. And most importantly, we avoided you know, wasting our time, money, and energy with bondoing it and maintaining the bondo and custom painting it. You know, it looks good, it's great, it was simple. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned next week when we teach you switchback circles. That's yeah, a terrible ending.